Hi, and welcome to my guide to the quest Spirits of Elite. There are no quest requirements, and the stash requirements are 33 magic, 37 ranged, mining, and thieving. All of them can be boosted. Also, you will need to be able to kill 3 monsters of level 75 individually, with melee, and with the 3 different melee kinds of attacks. So for the items needed is a slash, stab and crush weapon. For slash I will be using a scimitar. You could also use any kind of sword. For stab I will also be using a scimitar, but I'm going to put it on controlled. Other examples for a stab weapon would be a dagger. Then for my crush weapon I will be using a battle staff. Other examples of a crush weapon would be a pickaxe, a granite maul, a barrel just anchor or a god sword. Then you will also need one law and one arrow, one needle, two thread, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, a rope, any kind of bow and a couple of arrows, a knife, any light source. What might be helpful is one or two water skins, then some food and armor for the boss battle. And what's also helpful to speed up the quest is one stamina potion and one Narla teleport, but those aren't required. Then what you also will need is at least four empty inventory slots in your inventory at the start of the quest. Where to start this quest is in the most eastern building of Narda. In that building you will find the quest sign and Awusa the mayor. Talk to him. Select the first option. I am an adventurer in search of quests. Then select the second option. Do you have any idea how? Then select the first option. I will take a look around. Next, go north and enter the building directly north of the mayor's house. Inside you will find Gathler the Elder. Talk to him. Then select the first option that you're trying to find out the cause of the curse. Select the first option again. What are river spirits? And he will give you a ballot. Read it. Close it. And then go to the building just west of uh, Gaslor's house or building. And on the eastern side of the building you'll find an ancestor key on the table. Go to your regular spellbook and use telekinetic crap on the key. Then once you have this key go to the northwestern corner inside of this building and search the northern cupboard. Click to continue twice and you will get torn ropes. Use your needle on both of the ropes and you will now get rope and top of Aladinis. Wear both of them. And now let's go to the bank of Narda to prepare the fight of those three level 75 monsters. The bank is south of Narda. Once you're at the bank you can deposit your needle and your thread, you don't need them anymore. Do keep the rest of the items. So I will be bringing some uh, armor and then some more food. And besides from that, let's go north if you think you're ready to kill those three monsters. So just keep going north. Back to the temple. Just keep going north, northwest. Pause the cooking range sign. Now just keep going north, northwest until you see a river. And we will need to follow that river north until we see uh, where the river starts. Maybe drink a stamina potion dose. And when you see the river, just keep going north. Pass the giant lizards from the Slayer Masters assignments. Just ignore everything and just keep going north. It's quite far away. 
after we've defeated those monsters and talked to the river spirits, we need to go back to Narda. And I don't want to run back, so I've bought a Narda teleport. Just keep following the river north until you see a dungeon sign on your minimap. Click on it to run towards. Then maybe turn your camera a little bit east until you see some kind of tree root or something. Use your rope on that root. Alright, once you're inside, be sure that you equip your both robes of Aladinis and open the door a little bit northeast. Then let's go east and let's go to the first room and the southern door. If you try to open it, it will uh, spawn the level 75 stab golem. So be sure that you equip your stab weapon and try to open the door and then attack the golem. Alright, once the colon is dead, open the door and go a little bit south, you'll find a water channel, clear it and this water channel will require 37 thieving. Next open the door and let's go to the southeastern door or the southeastern room. This is the slash golem, so equip your slash weapon, open the door and attack that grey golem. Alright, once the slash golem is dead, open the door and then clear the water channel. This will require a pickaxe and 37 mining. Once this is cleared, open the door and let's go to the northeastern room. This is the crush golem, so equip your crush weapon and try to open it. Attack that golem. Alright, once this crush golem is dead, open the door and equip your bow and arrows. Be sure that you have 37 range at and behind the water channel you will find a target which you can shoot. Try to shoot the target. If you hit successfully, the water channel will be cleared. Once it is cleared, let's exit that room and go back west. Let's go towards that fishing sign on your minimap, so open those large doors and let's go around this lake until we find the water spirits or the river spirits. 
once you've found them, talk to them. Select the fourth option, that you are a emissary of the people of Narda. Then select the first option, is there anything they can do to get their fountain working again? Alright, now we will need to go back to Narda to retrieve a statuette. Else, run all the way back or use a Narda teleport. Either a teleport scroll or maybe via your uh, achievement diary desert amulet. But when you've arrived in Narda, let's go east and go back to the mayor. Talk to the mayor. And just keep pressing the spacebar until the conversation is over. Then, next to the entrance of the mayor's office, you will find some shoes on the ground. Take them. Then, let's go to the bank. And then on your way to the bank, use your knife on the shoes to get two souls. Now we don't need to fight anything anymore, so you can simply bank everything that you don't need. So your weapons, and maybe your food. So be sure that you have your light source, your rope, and your shoe soles. And then let's go west, west of the bank. And just keep going west, and a little bit northwest, until you see a crevice. Once you see that crevice, click on it to climb down, then go north, enter that room, and inside of that room you will find a genie. Talk to him. Select the first option that you're after the statuette. Select the first option, we want to make a deal for it. Then select the third option, I agree. Then since you already have the soul, talk to the genie again. and he will give you the statuette. Next, let's go back upstairs by climbing up the rope that we just used to climb down. Then go east-northeast, return to the temple where we've forgotten our uh, ropes of Elodinis, and we will just need to place that statuette on the plinch next to the northern wall. Once we have placed it, the quest will be completed, so let's use it on the plinch. And congratulations, you've completed the Spirits of Elite quest. You are awarded with two quest points, Use of the Shrine to pray at, 8000 prayer experience and 1000 thieving and magic. Now when you click on the Eladini's statuette to pray, your run energy, prayer and hit points will all be restored and with additional 10% extra hit points. This was my guide how to do the Spirit of Elite quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.